The Cases Activity Summary Report shows you which test cases your team has created or updated recently. This can help you see how many new test cases your team has drafted, for example, to cover new features, track your team's efforts around test case maintenance, and get visibility into the overall activity around your test case repository. So to create this report, you'll click on the Reports tab, and you'll see on the top right, on the right side panel, the very first report under Cases, Activity Summary, you'll click on that. And you'll put in your name and description for the report. As you come down here to the report options, you'll see grouping and changes. And you have a few options for how you display your team's test case activity in this report. First of all, you can decide if you want to see test case activity in a timeline view or if you want to see the activity displayed in the same sections and subsection groupings you've used to organize your test case repository. So the timeline would be day or month if you're trying to track the history of your test case repository over time sorted by most recent changes. Alternatively, you can group by test cases to see all the test cases you've created or updated in each section of your test case repository over a given period of time. This can be helpful if you're trying to see which areas of your test suite have required the most attention from your team or if you're interested in seeing how recently a certain set of test cases were last updated. By default, the report will automatically show both new and updated test cases. You can uncheck one or the other if you want more visibility into more specific activity metrics, like how many new test cases your team creates per test cycle on average, or get a sense of how much maintenance your team had to do on existing test cases in a given period of time. And then finally, you'll see the time frame that you can select in this drop down. For example, let's say you want to see all the test cases your team has created or updated over the last 90 days. So then you click, go ahead and click on 90 days. And then you can also use, if you want to do more than 90 days, you'll click on custom here and then you can set a custom, you know, more than three months back. Go ahead and do 90 days for this example. And once you've decided what kind of activity summary report you'd like to see and set a time period, you can add additional filters to zero in on specific sets of test cases in the sections tab here. And by default, you can choose to include all sections that you've created for your repository. Or you can click on the radio button right here and you can select sections using shift hold, by holding down shift or control. Or if you're interested in seeing the activity for a specific type of test case or the test design work that a specific team member has been doing, you can set a more fine grain filter under the test cases tab. And here you'll click on the change to apply a filter for your test cases. So if you want to do a specific type of test case, you can scroll down, you know, you have to do by regression or You can select a specific team member by using created by. And so that way, only test cases that are made by Diogo and that are of the regression type will show up in the report. Finally, by default, the report will show the ID and title for each test case in the report, as well as who created and most recently updated the test case. If you want to customize a report, just click on the Add Column button down here, and you can, you know, for example, you can add Priority. So once you're done with all this, then setting up the report, you can scroll down and hit Add Report. Now that I've shown you how to create the report and select which test cases to put in your report and what data to show, let's go over to a report. At the top, you will see a horizontal bar chart that shows the total number of test cases that were updated or created. If you selected to group by month or day, the test case changes will be broken down by the time period you've selected. You will also see a numerical table below if you've chosen to group by month or day. The percentages on the right indicate how many test cases were created or updated in that given time period in proportion to the overall time range you've selected. Beneath the bar chart, you'll see a table where you can see each test case and a label indicating what type of change was made. 
If your report is grouped by test cases, the table will be organized by the sections and subsections you've created. If your report is grouped by month or day, the table will be organized by the time range you've selected and then sectioned by the type of change. If you've chosen to include both test cases that were updated and created. I hope that with this information, you can utilize the activity summary report to track the progress of your work your team is doing around test cases and get more visibility into your test case repository.